A batsman should have a, a bat custom made because there are certain features about your game that are very specific to you as a cricketer. Many bats are um, just generic. You, you have lots of different shapes and sizes and all sorts, but it doesn't necessarily match what you, what you use. And so having it customised to suit you works really well because we can actually look at your game. I can figure out um, you know, what shots you play, what, what's suitable then, to, what shape is suitable to, to put into the bat that works for you. We can customise everything. Um, you've got, you start at the handle, you've got the handle that can be customised, whether it's oval or round or thin or thick or long or short. Um, you've got the shape of the bat, um, the main profile through the, uh, the bat, the sweet spot. That, um, that area can be low, mid, high, or mid to high, mid to low. You know, there are quite a few different areas in there. You've got the edge, the, the toe of the bat, the, um, the spine height through the bat. Um, so you've got quite a few different areas there. You have a high sweet spot generally if you're playing on wickets where the ball bounces quite high. Some players uh, still prefer a high, high sweet spot even if they're on lower bouncing wickets. It's just purely because they like the faster bat speed associated with the higher sweet spot. The mid-range sweet spot gives you the best of both worlds. You'll have a, little, a lot more wood lower down but not too low and then also you'll have that uh, sweet spot starting and going a little bit higher. A lower sweet spot gives batsmen that play straight more value for their shots. A lot of that is because they tend to find that uh, when you're playing straight you do tend to hit it quite low. If you're driving on the up, the extended sweet spot tends to work well for you because you do get that larger sweet spot so it does give you a lot more error for, margin for error. With a larger sweet spot you do find that you tend to have uh, more weight in the bat. With a smaller sweet spot there's a lot less weight so it, is, it depends on what you really want. This one's your mid to high classic sweet spot and uh, this gives you a, a very fast bat speed but also um, quite good value for shots. This is for your really traditional batsman. Uh, it's got a very classic sort of uh, traditional shape through it and hence we call it our classic profile. The special profile has a really good power to weight ratio and has a really good fast bat speed and super pickup. And that's one of those things that uh, you can see here, you've got all the, all the weights concentrated in the sweet spot, but you've got wood taken out of the, the top area and the bottom area. And so it's also scalloped out. Well, it's an ideal choice for a natural stroke player. The extended profile benefits are that you have a high spine going all the way through the blade. And so this one's a mid to high sweet spot, but you've still got a spine going through to the toe. Very similar properties to a classic, but uh, with the extended profile, the spine actually does follow all the way through to the toe, whereas the classic tends to just stop slightly short. The advantage of a mega profile is that you have a lot of wood all the way through the blade. You can see here there's uh, just wood packed right the way through. It's for a batsman that really likes hitting big. Some players like a bow in the bat because they'll uh, be able to play lofted shots a bit easier. Um, and effectively it helps you get under the ball and, uh, and get the ball into the air. Often players that have a slight bow to the blade will be playing on um, pitches that uh, have long grass and uh, they need to get the ball over the top, over the infield, and uh, it's one of those areas that uh, is quite a big um, part of being able to hit big. Now, there are drawbacks to the bow blade, so you've just got to um, um, work with a few different parameters. The drawbacks to having a bowed blade is that uh, when, when you actually uh, bow the blade, you tend to press it again after it's been uh, um, shaped. Now, when, when you've shaped the bat and press it, you're only pressing the main sweet spot area. You're not actually pressing the toe. There's not much pressure going on there, and there's not much pressure going up through the, uh, through the splice area. And so it's really only the, the sweet spot area that gets the pressure. And hence, you do get a slightly smaller sweet spot. And that's one of the things that, that is a drawback from a bowed blade. The rounded face and flat face are very, um, very personal preference. It's a, it's, it's a different feel. With a, uh, with a flatter face, you tend to find that um, sometimes it feels a little bit harder, but you do get a uh, really good performance. Um, but then with the rounder face, you'll find that uh, the sweet spot tends to be spread a little bit more from side to side. So you've got a slightly larger and wider sweet spot. And the reason for that is that uh, on, on the rounder profile that's been pressed into the bat, there's more pressure going onto the edges. And so that does expand the sweet spot a little bit more. Whereas when it's flat, there's exactly the same pressure going across the whole surface. And um, just the physical properties of the willow tend to make the bat uh, perform differently. And so um, there's, uh, there's all sorts of things going on in the timber that, uh, that change it. When you're making a bat for just sheer performance, the crucial part of that is the pressing and then also the, uh, the selection of the timber for the density. 
When I select a piece of willow, I'm looking for a specific piece that matches the shape that you require. We have to get the right cleft that matches the shape and weight of your bat. When, when you press a bat, that, that's one of the most crucial parts of, of our process and it's, it's a, quite a complex process uh, because you've got to get it exactly right and you've got to be able to hear exactly what's going on in the timber and so doing it individually is crucial. Um, each, each bat and each piece of willow has a different property. With the cell structure in the willow, some um, cells are very open, some are more closed and that's the difference between a low density piece of timber and a higher density piece of timber. Sometimes you'll find that um, with, a, uh, with a bat that's sort of in the middle of the density sort of range, um, that's probably where your, your best performance and best longevity of uh, life in the bat uh, um, works because you've got the best of both worlds. The short handle is uh, something that's been around for years and years and years and probably back um, from the early 1900s um, um, and it just suits an average person's height and so you'd find that anyone from say five foot six through to um, five foot ten um, sits, sits nicely um, in a standard short handle. The benefits of having a long handle bat are that if you hold the bat uh, high up on the handle you'll find that then that puts the sweet spot lower down on, on the blade for you. The longer handle helps you stand upright and it's a little bit better for your balance because you're standing a little bit taller. The standard recommendation for a super short handle is someone that's just literally shorter, you know, say around the five foot four, five foot five um, mark, um, even up to five foot six. Now, um, that, it's one of those things that, uh, with that, it also depends on where you hold the bat. Um, where you hold the handle and where your the position of your hands on the handle is quite crucial for the super short handle. The long blade and long handle scenario are st two slightly different concepts. With a with a longer blade, it depends on where you hold the handle. Now, if your hands are quite low down on the handle and you effectively choke the handle, then you want the longer blade because as a taller person, the, sh the standard blade length is going to be too short. So you need that extra length in the blade to get the sweet spot lower down for you. Usually once you go up to a long handle, long blade, you'd be starting to get to six foot seven, six foot eight, and then start to go into that category because if you go too, um, too long in the handle and the blade, it really makes the bat pick up very heavy. The benefits of having a thicker handle are that, um, I mean, some people genuinely just have big hands, and so that, that's, that's the basic concept around uh, a thicker handle. Other players just like the feel of a thicker handle. It's almost like, um, um, you, you get um, slightly more control um, sometimes with, uh, with the feel of a thicker handle. Most of the handles that we would do would be uh, round at the top and then go into an oval through into the base of the handle. Um, the oval handle is good for you because it sits perfectly in your hand and uh, you get more control over the bat. A player would um, often have a thin handle because they either have small hands or really like to hold the bat tight in their hands and so get more control over the bat that way. We do three different types of handles. We do the, um, the, the standard cane handle, we do the uh, carbo handle and the seat hand handle. A player that uh, wants to use a standard cane handle tends to be one that likes the feel of the blade, likes to feel what's going on. Still, you still get good power but, uh, but just likes that more traditional feel in a bat. Uh, you'd use a C10 if you really want to try and improve the balance of your bat and also um, get the same um, nice value for shots because you've got more power going through to the blade. The reason for using a carbo handle is that you want to really get the maximum performance out of your blade and that, that's where you want that stiffness. A, a common practice these days is to have actually a longer handle with a super short blade. Now um, that's something that uh, has become more common in 2020 cricket and that's something that I think uh, enables you to actually um, tee off a bit more. You're actually swinging the bat and trying to get more bat speed so that then you can get under the ball and hit it further. The disadvantage of a long handle and a super short blade is that, uh, that it can feel a little bit toe heavy and so it depends on what you like there. But it's one of those things that again it's personal preference as to what you really like and some, some players have one in their bag just because they want something different. The reason for having a long blade is that uh, for one, it makes you stand taller in your stance. Secondly, you can actually get under the ball a bit more if you're a little bit taller. If you're taller, the long blade does help you with your balance. With the new ICC rules, we'll get a better performance out of a bat even with a smaller, slightly smaller shape, purely because of the way we, we press each bat individually. The edges are not really going to make any difference to your game. The focus in the bat shape should be your profile of bat. The reason for the focus being on the profile is that we need to get the sweet spot in the right place to match your game. The main advantage of having a thicker toe over a thinner toe is that it's stronger. You get more, um, 
um, more strength through it, so you're less likely to damage it. A lot of the time um, your thinner toe will be a little bit weaker, but it will help the bat to pick up better. So some players will actually ask for a bit of a duckbill in the toe as well, just to help with that pick up and balance. The duckbill suits a mega profile quite well if you really want to get that pro mega profile uh, picking up a little bit better, and you lose probably about an ounce just solely off the end of the bat. On the base here we also put a toe guard, that it helps to protect the toe from a bit of moisture. You can't solve all problems with moisture, but it does help a lot. Often uh, you would put a, a plastic facing on the bat. That, that's uh, something that helped to protect the bat and seal that in. Um, certainly if you get caught out playing in a bit of drizzle, um, then uh, it really helps to protect that face and the pressing. The fibre tape on the edges just helps to protect the edge. Um, really that's the area where you get most damage in a bat, and so you want to protect it as much as possible. The benefit of uh, getting a custom made bat is that you get the exact specifications that suit your game. If you don't know what bat suits your game, talk to us and we'll be able to help you with that. If you're not happy with your bat, send it back to us, we'll make sure it's right for you.